Now let's talk about last rule and specificity in CSS. So it's a good thing I didn't break my tongue on that one. And over here you can see that I have main CSS and we still have the same setup, right? So this is going to be div, then we have heading one, and then there's going to be like four paragraphs, right? So if we go over here and let's talk about the last rule. So let's say if I target the paragraph, right? And I'm going to say in this case font size, right? So I'm going to say font size. Or you know what? Let's do color. We haven't done the color in a long time. Color, right? Over here. And then I'm going to say that the color is going to be uh, something that we can better see. Brown, right? Well, yeah, very good choice. Uh, over here, let's find something blah, 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 dark blue. Better? No? Not really, no. I mean, let's go back and let's find even something more useful. Let's go with red. Right. So again, back to the good old red. We're here, right? So we're targeting all of them, right? But with the last rule, what happens is that if I go over here, and if I'm going to write over here, let's say uh, background color, and or not background color, sorry, color, right? And I'm going to say yellow, right? You see what happens, right? Just because I wrote this rule over here last, it actually overrides the previous one, right? And you can sometimes run into the problem like this, right? Because you're going to be you're going to be applying style after style after style, and then when you actually look at your style sheet, you're like, well, wait a minute, I did actually didn't want that, right? So remember that the last rule is actually going to be the one that actually counts, right? If you have two of them together. Now there's also something called the specificity, right? If we have over here a class, so I'm going to say class over here. I'm going to say a div, right? So let's 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 be pretty redundant and just use the same one, right? So I'm going to go over here with a div. But if I have this class over here on the top, right? And I remember now I'm targeting the div, right? The div class, which is, you know what? It's kind of stupid. Let's let's do box. At least it's something better. So we're going to go over here back to the uh, class of box, right? And if I write over here, then I would want a paragraphs, right? In the box. And if I want a different color, right? So let's say back, uh, color, and we're going to say color green, right? You see what's going to happen is that they are going to actually turn green because this is specificity. And even though I wrote this one on the top, right, this rule is much more specific than this one, right? So this will actually going to override all of them, right, together. Now there's one more thing that I need to warn you about that actually remember the inline style, right? So if I would go back over here, and if I would write with this paragraph, right, I would say style over here. And I'm going to say that this is going to be a, uh, let's say, color, right? And I'm going to say red, right? You see what happens. This is actually one of the things with these inline styles, right, that they actually can overwrite. So there might be a case where you really for sure want to go back in and you want to say, no, listen, I want this one red, right? But in general, that would be very annoying if we would have to go everywhere to single one of them and actually start applying these styles. But just remember that if you have some kind of emergency situation, you really want to deal with this this way, you can do it because inline style is going to be actually overriding even the class in this case, right? Because I, you cannot get more specific than this, you know. You're saying basically, listen, this paragraph, I want this to be read.